Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So uh, I'm getting pretty excited because it's uh, tomorrow is the Lunar uh, New Year. Uh, I want to introduce to you Exora. So this particular flowers are very common in Asia and mostly in the tropic and subtropical climate. Here I'm living in Perth so it's a warm temperate zone. Um, it's doing okay. It is very slow growing. This has been here for maybe more than like oh I want to say eight years. <laughs> My reference in years is pretty bad. But I know it's a very long time and it started out as like just a like a small branch like that and over time it has grown to this bush. It is a bush um, flower in nature and in Vietnam in particular during the lunar new year people grow a lot of this and they sell them on the street. It's busting out flowers at this time of year and the wonderful thing about Exora is it has this nice bowl, bowl kind of flowers and it continually like blossom and you got the little ones that come through just like this one here so um, like you got flowers uh, the bud in between and it will just like fully open and it just look absolutely amazing um, now this particular flower has a lot of meaning um, in Vietnamese, it's called bong jang, so it's something that is, uh, um, oh, I forgot my translation. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna skip the translation because I don't know now. If you wanna buy like a small stem, it costs roughly $25. So across here, I have the red one as well. And look how beautiful it is it's so vivid and vibrant and uh, in the winter time because my mom is growing un like under a shade in a pot maybe that's the reason why it's not uh, growing so fast look at this Jesus <laughs> it's so good so if you're growing flowers it's a must-have um, it's good for like putting in a bowl of water uh, visually very good for photography and you can't have New Year without well you can actually but um, what you commonly find in Vietnam most I, I'm only gonna reference Vietnam is uh, Bong Giang Exora which is over 500 species and they come in a range of colors from red to coral to yellow to pink dusky pink maybe blue i'm not sure but these two colors are most common in perth i don't know anyone else um, that sells something differently but um a lot of vietnamese especially the traditional vietnamese people like my mom she loved growing this she grew up with it and when i was in visiting cairns along the street they grow this uh you know like a um like a mini fence so um absolutely lovely over there and very appropriate for the environment as in the the climate here we're kind of like pushing the boundary but um it's doing okay i would encourage you if you're in perth a warm temperate to try and grow this because look how beautiful it is right <laughs> And there's one over there there we go now you can't have new year without marigold uh, each of the flower has meaning and um, this is for longevity bong uh, nhang tha so and uh, that one is bong jang is uh, if you're vietnamese speaking you probably understand what i mean bong uh, jang meaning uh, jang wang um, and Jim uh, 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 oh my god I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> um, also a lovely flower for offering uh, to you know when you make a flower offering it uh, takes a long time to uh, 
uh, to to die, like, not to die, but um, as in like it, you know, with other flowers, it rot away really quickly, and it smell after like a day or two. This one lasts a lot longer in a vase with a bit of water, and you keep on changing the water, and you you can see why it's prefer preferred. And the other thing you need to have, or don't have to, is. Uh, money tree <laughs> so you will see people displaying and if you go to Asian grocery store they buy they sell these pots of marigold for like 25 to 30 dollars um, simply it means longevity that's why people love it traditionally these two flowers are what you see so another flower that uh, generally you see on display during the new year I mean there are lots out there like uh, <laughs> what is it chrysanthemum and a few other uh, variety close to that but um, orchids is actually one of the prized one and orchids has a particular meaning in that it's spread and well in terms of the name translation it's for the new year for you to um, like take roots and to be uh, prosperous so so you have one that is um, longevity one for prosperity and that's why they do these flower display these will be for the uh, land so when i go up there we will put this on display this time of year is so hard to come by these orchids one of these pot is like 38 dollars and also the big one is 38 or 36 dollars um because they just they they are bought up fairly fairly quickly so I put on the clone again and I'm trying to germinate um, the prima with not so much attention but this is the exora that I've grafted um, and it's doing okay it's been like more than a week so hopefully the roots will come through and I'll get some more plant this is the only surviving prima creek prima Sarah folia um, god the latin name is like a killer isn't it look how beautiful it has become during the summertime um, i will graft these at a later stage and uh, these are the graft that i did at the other house and my mom i gave it over to my mom and she looked after and look how well they're growing i just don't have the time and i neglect them which is terrible isn't it now this these eroxa i bought about nine of them or 12 actually we've given away four to my sibling for the new year and um this old lady she was very lovely she lived in like sterling um and her house and garden was so beautiful um she sold these plants for only 12 dollars and when i saw it I bought it all like roughly 14 of them I was gonna get 15 but she promised someone else one so um, I only bought 14 the only two colors that she has is this um, this yellow and this one is the red one and so is this one and the rest is like flaming gold yeah okay I got the name now flaming gold so they love subtropical climate and if you can provide that man they're gonna be so pretty and the more you prune it the more flowers gonna come through so hopefully I can um, I can propagate some more and uh, yeah we'll see where that leads okay take care everyone <laughs> bye